It's been likened to a velodrome. Cyclists going much faster than cars. We're in Regent's Park with a speed gun. 24, 25. And some are going 12 miles above the speed limit. Going to 32 miles an hour. She came out. For Gerard Griffith's mum, the cyclist's speed fire. was deadly, killed by a bike as she crossed the road. Another group came along and she basically was struck by the third in line. She was a lovely, beautiful lady. She was to me mum, but she was beautiful to everyone. She had dogs all, her, all my life. Would always come to the park to walk her dogs and her last one in her retirement was a little rescue dog from Battersea who she used to call her four-legged husband, believe it or not. The Regent's Park speed limit is 20, but the cyclist who hit Hilda was reaching speeds of 29 miles an hour. But because he was on a bike, he wasn't prosecuted. Naively, maybe I thought that because my mum had been killed on the road, there'd be some sort of even a court appearance. But to not actually even get it to court, that is something, you know, if a judge told me there was no, nothing anyone could do, I wouldn't necessarily agree, but I'd have to accept it. Inconsiderate cycling. But this afternoon, a proposal to change the law, led by Sir Ian Duncan Smith, to make cyclists obey the same rules as cars. The fact is that cyclists are on the road, and for pedestrians, they can be a danger. So you want them to ride conscious of that, and also knowing that there are laws that say things they shouldn't do. In Wandsworth, plant boxes have been added to the Thames cycle path to slow bikes down, but cycling campaigners believe the change of law isn't needed. I think we are covered by dangerous cycling laws already. If it's reckless, if it's furious driving, I think is the term, then you can be prosecuted. And for instances where you, you're being reckless, then that should be, should be the case. But here it was kind of proved that the cyclist was doing 29 miles an hour and yeah. there was no prosecution. So there's obviously... Yeah, I mean, I think here. in that incident, that is, that is ridiculous, I think, for a cyclist to be doing 29 miles an hour in an area where there's clearly pedestrians. So, yeah, I mean, that, that should be dealt with. Her last thoughts would have been probably her life flashing in front of her. Another pedestrian was hit earlier this month at the exact spot where Gerard's mum died. But with no speed laws for cyclists, the velodrome racing continues unchecked. So, so Rags, what, what's happening with um, Sir Ian Duncan Smith's change in the law? Well, it's, this is all about equality for road users. Speed laws should be the same for cars and for bicycles, he says. Parliament is still discussing the issue tonight. A vote is expected within the next hour. But we understand that the government will support Sir Ian Duncan Smith's amendment. But with the speed gun today, it was amazing because most bikes were obeying the speed limit, but quite a few were going way above 20. And it doesn't seem fair at the moment. Gerald told me the person who hit his mum while going too fast was able to cycle home. So expect a change in the law, but enforcing this law might be another issue altogether. Very good point. Thank you.